I'm Laura. Today I'm going to show you how to make this water cycle diagram. It helps you understand how water goes from one place to the next on Earth. You can make it with or without the tree, depending on what you've been learning. First, you'll need to visit my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop slash You'll purchase the water cycle printable. You'll download it to your computer and then you'll print it on whatever color of paper or cardstock you might like. To do the project, you're also going to need a large cereal box, scissors, something to color with, and a glue stick. Start by coloring the different elements of the water cycle. Cloud. I don't have to color in the lines because I'm going to cut it all out. And then this tree is optional. If you want to include transpiration where the trees let water back into the air as a part of your water cycle, then you'll want to color the tree, but feel free to leave it out if you would like to. From drinking it, we know that water is clear, but oftentimes it appears blue. And that's because water absorbs other colors of wavelengths from the sun. And the blue is scattered across the surface. So I'm coloring the ocean a darker blue. We know it can change colors depending on how deep it is. So you can certainly choose to have a more greenish ocean or more grayish ocean. Maybe a gorgeous Caribbean. And if you want to, you could draw a little submarine here in the ocean. This part right here, we're actually going to need to color the other side of. So you don't have to color that part right now. This is your stream and some rocks, and I'm gonna finish coloring that. We've got some raindrops and some snowflakes. The mountain has snow on top of it, so I'm leaving that part white. And then I added some water, some snow melt, maybe turning into a waterfall and coming off the side of the mountain. And then I'm coloring the rest of it green because this particular mountain is covered in trees. You can make yours a brown, dusty, rocky mountain if you like. This is going to be the back of the mountain. You won't see it in the finished water cycle, so don't worry about coloring that. You can color as much or as little as you like on this page. Don't color the stands, you won't see them. I've been coloring the letters right here in the title. You might want to write your name right here. You can choose to color the labels or the arrows if you'd like, or you can skip it and leave it whatever color you printed it. The next step is to cut around the edge, or even just part of the edge, of your stands. And then you're going to glue the stands and your water cycle wheel to your cardboard. That way, when you actually cut it all out, you won't have to cut it out twice. Like before you glue it on the cardboard and after, you just do it all at once. And now we are ready to cut out everything. So you're going to be cutting on these black dashed lines for all of your items. I found it hard to cut the wheel when I was cutting in such a big piece of cardboard. So I just cut roughly around the edges of it and I have found that that is making this a whole lot easier to cut through the cardboard. All cereal boxes are not made equal. Mine's a thicker one here. So to cut out this middle part, I'm using an X-Acto knife and that didn't even go all the way through. You can see I've got a piece of cardboard right here to protect my surface 
And I'm just making a hole that I'm gonna be able to stick my scissors in and start cutting. So if you need to do that to get to the inside, get an adult's help with that. And now you can see I can stick my scissors in and I can cut however jagged I need to to start getting right to the edge. If you're using cardstock instead of plain paper, you can forego the cardboard and to make a hole in the middle, just kind of bend it a little bit, cut, and then stick your scissors in the hole that you made to cut out the inside. When you're ready to cut out the sun, the tree, and the river or stream, you can choose to cut on those black dashed lines around the edges, or if you'd like to, you can cut right next to the shape itself. That is up to you. you could do right here that I hadn't thought about is you could color like there's some grass or something right next to the stream. After you've cut out your ocean, you'll need to turn it over to color this part right here. Everything's cut out now, so we're gonna do some folding and gluing. And the first thing I'm gonna fold is the mountain. So I'm folding down the middle. There's a dotted gray line there to tell me to fold. And then I'm gonna fold these tabs right here on the edges. And after I fold the tabs, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the mountain together. I would put your glue on the back side of these tabs, like this, and then put them around the back of the mountain. Get my fingers in there and push down to keep it together. There's the mountain. And now for the stand, you can see there are three dotted lines. These are a little trickier to fold. You're folding backwards. And that's just because they're on the cardboard. So I'm trying to stick my finger where that line is. And then you're going to put glue right here. glue that together. When a glue stick doesn't want to hold, sometimes tape can come to the rescue. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape around here. Do the same if you need to. I'm going to add it to this other one just to make sure it sticks. The fold lines on the ocean might be a little hard to see if you colored it a dark blue like I did, but you're going to fold forward and I can tell that I'm folding on the line because these edges match each other. And then open it up, look for the other line, which is right here. There goes that stand again. It's time to put all the pieces together on the wheel. There's a couple different ways you could do this. It might be easiest to glue your stands on first. So to do that, you will stand up the water cycle wheel 
and glue or tape these stands right here like that so that the wheel stands up straight. I'm not going to do that just because I think it'll be too hard for me to show you where everything goes. So I'm just going to start placing them on there. I'm going to put the mountain here and you can choose which side you'd like the mountain to be on. But if I already had it standing, I would be able to make sure the mountain was sitting flat on the ground. So mountain will get glued here. Ocean's going to go across from the mountain. The sun is going to be above the ocean. I'm going to go ahead and glue the raindrops and the snowflakes to the back of my cloud. They're going to go above the mountain like this. The glue can go right there. I'll go ahead and do that. Glue it to the back of your water cycle wheel. Try to make sure I got it in the middle. Okay. So, where shall we start? Let's start with precipitation. So that's right here when rain and snow fall. And you're going to glue this cloud right here. They fall to the mountains, the hills, the land, the ocean, whatever it might be. And all that water gets collected. So it collects into the ground and under the ground into rivers and streams. And then eventually those lead to the ocean. In the ocean, the water evaporates because the sunlight shines onto it. And then there's condensation as the water that's in the air condenses into clouds to start the cycle again. So after you've glued all these things on there, you can choose to put arrows showing how this is a cycle. It keeps happening. If you would like to include the tree, remember the leaves of the tree let water out into the air. You can put it in here and maybe move an arrow or take an arrow off and add transpiration. Or maybe you want the arrow to show that that goes up in the sky. It's up to you. So here is the water cycle with the main elements glued on. I'm going to stand it up, which I know you can't see real well, but that's okay because I'm just going to show you how to glue the stream. So you're just going to put it right under the ocean like this and then this portion that goes under the mountain if you'd like to you can just fold it up underneath the mountain like this and either glue or tape that end so that it doesn't fall off. my finished water cycle diagram looks like. Yours might be a little bit different. You might like to add a boat or a whale to the ocean. Maybe some hikers walking up the side here. Maybe you have an airplane flying through the sky. If you'd like to add anything fun like that, just draw out another piece of paper. Cut it out and glue it on like you did everything else. Hope you've had fun making and learning about the water cycle. Come back and see me for another craft project another day.